I have for you a major upgrade to your laser engraver, and that is the new Minchian laser cam camera. Hi, I'm Ken of Wrist Innovations, and today I'm going to provide you with a comprehensive review of the Minchian laser cam camera and demonstrate how it can improve your productivity when running your laser engraver. So let's get started. First, I want to thank Minchian for providing me with the new laser cam for my evaluation. I've divided the video into the following sections. Features and benefits, unboxing and assembly, calibration, engraving and cutting, tracing an image, batch engraving and cutting, remote monitoring and time lapses, and cost benefits. The Mintian laser cam is easy to set up and install on the popular laser engraver cutters such as Creality, Xtool, Atomstack, Sculptfun, or Tour, and others. It has a 1080 pixel camera resolution with a manual focus and it's compatible with Lightburn software. The camera allows you to remotely monitor your laser engraver via the Beagle Engrave phone app, the Lightburn camera control, or the Minchian browser interface. The camera is designed to fit inside most laser engraver enclosures. The camera precisely locates your work pieces so you can quickly align your images to cut or engrave. And it also allows you to perform batch engraving and cutting to increase your productivity. The camera also has a tracing function via the Lightburn software that allows you to copy a physical object in the work area and paste the image onto your workpiece. You can also automatically create time lapses in two modes, normal and clean. So now let's get into the unboxing and assembly. The camera kit is nicely boxed with all of the parts well protected in foam. The kit includes an instruction manual, vertical and horizontal extruded aluminum rails, camera adapter, a 1080 pixel camera, various cables, and a calibration card. The kit is easy to assemble and it only takes a few minutes before you're ready to mount it on your laser engraver. First, attach the camera adapter to the camera using a quarter to any screw. Then, attach the camera assembly to the horizontal extruded aluminum rail. It's the one with the two slots, using two M5 by 14 mm socket head cap screws. Next, attach the horizontal aluminum rail assembly to the vertical rail using four M5 by 25 mm socket head cap screws. Then, mount the camera assembly to the laser engraver. Initially, I didn't think it mattered where to mount the camera assembly to the laser, so I just mounted it to the left side of my Creality Falcon 2 engraver. This mistake caused me to have an interference with the movement of the laser and the camera clamp, so I installed a small wooden spacer to correct the interference. Later, I realized that the side-mounted camera didn't match the camera calibration steps because everything was off by 90 degrees. So eventually, I stumbled upon another video on YouTube and I realized that they mounted the camera on the back of the laser. So then, I corrected my bonehead mistake. If you are working on a prototype project and you need some help, I have the answer for you. This brings me to the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. If you are working on any prototype projects, they can help you when you need a variety of parts. Besides making PCBs, they also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and lots of different types of 3D printing, including metal printing. PCBWay currently has their seventh annual project design contest going on. You can submit your project in three categories, electronic, mechanical, or STM32 between now and January 19th, 2025. Winners will be announced on March 10th, 2025. Check out the prizes PCBWay is offering and consider entering. For any parts you need made, just go onto their website, upload your design, select the material and quantity you need, and you will get an instant quote. Then they will manufacture the parts and ship them right to your door. Give them a try and I think you will be amazed at what they can do for you. Check out PCB Way using the link below. Next, it's time to download the Minchian Beagle Engrave app to your phone. Click on the QR code and plug the power cord into the camera and then into a wall outlet and follow the prompts. The next step shows connecting the camera to the laser engraver using the supplied data cable. However, 
I couldn't find this port on my Creality Falcon 2 22 watt laser. So I just connected the camera with another cable to the computer that has Lightburn software. I have a quick side note bonus, and it's how I mounted my Creality Falcon 2 to a plywood base to keep it secure and aligned to the honeycomb platform. I designed and 3D printed these locator feet holders and screwed them directly into the plywood, and they work really well. Let me know if you have any interest in the STL files, because if there's enough interest, I'll post them on Printables. Now it's time for calibration. First, let's focus the camera. Place an object in the engraving area, then open the Beagle Engrave app on your phone and switch to the full screen and HD for the best quality. Turn the focus ring on the camera and observe the quality of the image. Continue to turn the focus ring until the image is sharp, then continue to turn it until you see the image get blurry, and then turn it back to the sharp image, and that's it. Next, it's time to calibrate the camera lens. Place a sheet of paper, foam board, or similar material to cover the entire work area of your laser. I cut flip chart paper to the correct size for my application. In Lightburn, create a rectangle a couple of millimeters smaller than the work area of your laser. In my case, my Creality Falcon 2 has a work area of 400 millimeters by 415 millimeters, so I made my rectangle 398 millimeters by 413 millimeters. Engrave the rectangle into the paper that you placed in the work area. Next, go to Camera Control and choose the Minchian Laser Cam. Then click on Calibrate Camera Lens. Take the circles dot pattern card and place it in the middle of your work area. I turned off the honeycombed check enable button, and then I click capture. With a score of one or less, then click next to continue. Repeat the process until you've captured four sides and four corners of your work area. Once you're finished, it's time to align the camera. First, home the laser. Then, click on the camera control, and then calibrate camera alignment. Click camera is over work area. Choose Minchian Laser Cam. I entered 0.1 millimeter material thickness and 6,000 millimeters per minute speed and 60% power. Click Start and the four targets will be engraved on the paper. Once the engraving is done, move the laser out of the way and click Capture Image. Ensure you can see all four targets in the image. If not, you will need to adjust the camera until you can see all four targets. If you do need to adjust the camera, then it's best to repeat the camera lens calibration before proceeding to the camera alignment calibration. Then click Next. Pan and zoom until you can see the exact center of target number one, and then double click the center of the target. A red crosshair will appear. Repeat until you've marked a crosshair in all four targets. Then you're done. You can place your workpiece anywhere within the work area of the laser. Create the image you want to engrave or cut, and then under Camera Control, click Update Overlay. The camera will take a photo of the work area and show you where the workpiece is within the work area. Move and rotate your image to the location on the workpiece where you want to engrave or cut. Click Start, and your engraver will perform the engraving where your image is on the workpiece. This feature allows you to quickly align your images on your workpiece and maximize the use of your workpiece. So this should really help with your productivity. Another feature of the Minchian webcam and Lightburn software is the tracing image function. Place a physical item to trace in the work area. Under camera control, click trace. The whole work area will be traced. So to focus only on the image you are interested in, draw a rectangle around it. Then turn the sketch trace button and hit OK. Move the traced image to the workpiece where you want it to be engraved. Then hit start and your laser will engrave your image. Another productivity enhancement is the batch engraving or cutting feature. You can place multiple workpieces onto the work area of the laser. Then, using the camera control update overlay feature, you can place all your images on your workpieces and hit the start button and all the workpieces will be engraved at the same time. This will really save you time and increase your productivity. You can monitor the live engraving of your workpiece via either the Beagle Engrave app on your phone, via Lightburn camera interface, or by the browser interface.
still need to be in the same room as the laser in case there is an emergency and you need to immediately shut down the laser. The Beagle Engrave software also allows you to record time lapses of your engraving. They have two modes, normal and clean. In the normal mode, you can see the laser head and gantry in the time lapse. And in the clean mode, the laser head will move out of the view of the camera so it appears the image is appearing from thin air. At the time of this video, the end of September, beginning of October of 2024, the Minchian webcam is on sale for $119.99, normally at $129.99. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I think this is a really good value for the money because the Minchia webcam offers so many benefits to improve your laser engraver's performance, such as compatible with most brands of engravers and works with the Lightburn software, high resolution 1080 pixel camera, remote monitoring of your laser via Beagle Engrave phone app, Lightburn camera control, and your browser interface. Fits inside most engraver enclosures. Precisely locate your work pieces so you can quickly align your images to cut or engrave. Performs batch engraving or cutting to increase your productivity. The tracing function via Lightburn software allows you to copy a physical object in the work area and paste the image onto your workpiece. It comes with automatic time lapses in two modes, normal and clean. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And please provide any comments you have about the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.